Hey everybody, welcome back to Online Growth Systems and in today's episode, we are gonna be talking about what a return on investment means. So let's dive right into it. If you guys can tell, I am at a restaurant here in downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota, the hype, the hub of entrepreneurship in the state of Minnesota and the whole Northern Hemisphere. This is where it all happens. So pretty cool. Um, let's dive into today's topic. What is return on investment, ROI? So that is the acronym, and what return on investment really means is what is the money that you are making beyond what you put into it? So if you buy a stock for $100 and you make $120, 100, for every dollar past that 100 dollars that you make is considered you know like one percent because one percent of a, a dollar out of a hundred is one percent out of a hundred percent right so when you make a hundred and twenty dollars that is a twenty percent increase so that's how that works and uh, so if you make a hundred and fifty dollars out of a hundred dollars you put in that's a fifty percent increase if your money doubles if you go from a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars that's called a one hundred percent increase now to give you an idea if what if you make Two hundred and twenty dollars. Well, I'll take that rule. If you made, a, if you put a hundred bucks into it, every dollar passed is uh, another percentage. So that's a hundred and twenty percent return on investment. That's a hundred and twenty percent ROI. So the higher your ROI, the higher your return on investment, the more money that you are making. So when you have a negative ROI, so let's say that you you put in a hundred dollars and the stock crashes the next day, and you're at let's say $75, okay? That decreased by 25%, the value decreased by 25%. Therefore, you have a negative 25% return on investment. So that's why when you see in stock charts, it says, you know, negative, positive, green and blue, I mean, uh, green and red, I don't know why I said blue, but you know, the green represents re re uh, positive return ROI, and then the red represents a negative ROI. So that's just a little bit of basics on what return on investment means when you're looking at real estate, stocks, even a books. I talked about in some of my videos my return on investment for books. I'll buy a $20 book and I'll make a million dollars from the idea that it's giving me. That's the best return on investment. So sometimes in my videos I'll talk about infinite return, infinite return on investment. That What that means is, it's a little sideways eight in case you wanna know what it looks like. And what that means is that I put zero dollars into it and any profit I make from it is an infinite return because a return on something that you didn't put, that, that is zero is referred to as infinite returns. So something that's kind of skewing that mentality though is you could say, oh, I had infinite returns on my popsicle stand, you know, because you found all the stuff for it for free to do it. So you, it cost you zero to do it, but you only made $2, you know, it's still an infinite return. Or you could say, yeah, I had an infinite return on this property. I financed it hundred percent and I made 50,000 a year. That 50,000 a year is an infinite return because you didn't put any money into it. So you have to look into the numbers whenever people are talking about that. So if you have any questions about how it works or how the calculations work, uh, how it's applied, we'll talk about it in more videos. Comment down below. I'll answer any questions that are easy to answer in the comments. Otherwise, uh, if like enough of the same question pops up, I'll just make another video. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.